All right, there's that call out. Falcon 9 is in startup. At this point in time, stage one and stage two are beginning to pressurize for launch. LD, go for launch. And there was our final go for launch today from our launch director. At this point in time, as we approach T minus 30 seconds, all systems are go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. Let's listen in to the final countdown. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. Vehicles pitching downrange. Pressures are nominal. Nominal. All right, as you can see, Falcon 9 has cleared the tower, lifted off from Cape Canaveral Falcon Space Force Station. We just heard the call out that the vehicle is supersonic. We're currently going to throttle down the engines in preparation for Max Q coming Max up. Max Q. In, oh, there we heard it. So that was the moment of greatest aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will experience in flight today. Everything looking nominal with stage one trajectory. Now we have five events coming up in quick succession. Miko or main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, and the boost back burn. And you can follow along with those events there at the, on the timeline at the bottom of your screen. Beautiful view of the, Coda, of the Florida coastline. Main engine cutoff coming up in just under 30 seconds. As I mentioned before, we will be landing, uh, attempting to land the booster back on land at landing zone one. This is known as return to launch site, as opposed to um, a drone ship landing. Stage separation confirmed. Back startup. Stage one boost back startup. So you can see there on the right hand side of your screen, second stage MVAC engine has ignited. The first stage on the left hand side is performing the boost back. Uh, which, as you saw just moments ago, the first stage flipped itself over and is now making its way back to the coast of Florida. Everything looking nominal with second stage trajectory there on the right-hand side of your screen. All right, so there we heard the call out that the boost back burn has concluded. That was the first of three burns that the first stage will perform today. And we can see the grid fins beginning to deploy there on the left-hand side of your screen. The next event we have coming up is fairing deployment. All right, there you can see the two fairing halves have separated, fallen away from the vehicle, exposing the 105 spacecraft to the vacuum of space. 
As a reminder, we will be attempting to recover these brand new fairing halves once they make their way back to Earth. We're currently in the first of two MVAC burns. This first one will last until eight plus eight minutes and 20, T plus eight minutes and 26 seconds. About another four minutes from now. Beautiful views from the first stage there on the left-hand side of your screen and the second stage on the right. The next milestone will be the first stage booster re-entry burn. Falcon 9 executes an entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the atmosphere. Without this burn, relying on the atmosphere alone to slow down the Falcon 9 would put unnecessary strain on the rocket. And there we can see the east coast of Florida. Stage 2 on the nominal trajectory. Space coast there in the background of um, on the left-hand side. Once again, we are... Uh, launching the Transporter 3 mission today. This is SpaceX's third dedicated SmallSat rideshare program mission. And it's our second mission of 2022. SpaceX is targeting at least three dedicated rideshare flights to sun synchronous orbit per year. And we also offer opportunities for a ride to orbit on our Starlink missions, which launch every couple of weeks. Small sats can ride to space on SpaceX's Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, as well as Starship in the not too distant future. On the left hand side of your screen, uh, we can see those grid fins um, have deployed. Falcon 9 has four hypersonic grid fins positioned at the base of the inner stage, and they orient the rocket during reentry by moving the center of pressure. We can also see some white puffs of gas coming off from Falcon 9. Those are cold nitrogen gas, uh, which help with attitude control. After first stage landing, the second stage will cut off its MVAC engine and relight it approximately 45 minutes later for deployment of all 105 spacecraft. As for first stage, its next event is the entry burn. Stage two, FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there on your screen, we can see that that entry burn has begun. Once again, this burn is designed to slow the booster down as it returns through the dense part of the atmosphere. Stage two on nominal trajectory. As we just heard there. Stage one, entry burn shut down. Everything continuing to look good with second stage. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be attempting to recover this booster for the 10th time today, and we're targeting a land landing uh, at landing zone one. The first stage has just one more burn left, the Take landing burn. Yes, it's safe. It begins just before touchdown and provides the booster a soft descent before landing. About the same time that Falcon lands, we are expecting Seco or second engine cutoff, uh, one of our second stage. Just a few seconds away from landing. Stage and one is transonic. Vehicles traveling around 900 miles per hour really puts the deceleration into perspective. In the span of less than a minute, we'll have reduced from twice the, twice the speed of Stage a jet one landing burn. all the way down to zero as the rocket lands. There's a view on the right hand side. Stage two in terminal guidance. Of the landing back at landing zone one. Stage one, landing back to port. Stage one, landing confirmed. As you heard from the call out there and from the cheers behind me, uh, we have successfully landed this Falcon 9 for the 10th time. It's also the 102nd recovery of an orbital class rocket.